Well, there may be no more fascinating market story over the last few months than Bitcoin. We already talked about it reaching the $11,000 a coin mark, now shooting past the $12,000 a coin point. Uh, mark and uh, making its way towards 13,000. It's one of the big trends in technology. And for more on what's uh, happening in the world of technology, let's bring in somebody who knows a lot about it. Robert Herjavec the CEO of the Herjavec Group, uh, also known to fans of Shark Tank. Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. There's so many things that we can talk to you about, but it feels like this Bitcoin conversation just gets bigger and bigger every day. What has been your take on this wild ride for that cryptocurrency? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I mean, 12,000. I'm not sure I saw that happening, but now I see 15,000. I really think that cryptocurrency is going to go up. It's, it's definitely a bubble. The underlying technology blockchain is, is here to stay. There's a couple of companies that are actually going to convert cryptocurrency to debit cards. There's actually a startup in Vancouver that's about to release a product where you'll be able to take Bitcoin and get a debit card from it. So I think we're going to see more use of it, but I can't believe the prices. I was reading yesterday, there's a new type of Bitcoin called CryptoKitty. Yes. And it's going up in value like That's crazy right. too. That's so. right. People creating their own little things in that blockchain world and, and, and making them exclusive. Um, you know, last time you were here, we were talking about tech stocks and they'd had these mm -hmm. monster run-ups. And you said one of the differences, let's say, between today and say the internet bubble is that these companies are big, they are scaling, they have real revenue. In the case of a cryptocurrency, you know, when I ask people who are invested yeah. in it, why are you buying it? They say, because it keeps going up. And right. every time it sells off, it's a buying opportunity for me, which is, which is a different thing than Facebook or Netflix or Apple generating revenue. So what do you think about it from that yeah, perspective? Yeah, you're right. The, the crypto companies aren't making money except in speculation. There's a great movie called The Tulip Wars, and these guys are selling tulip bulbs. And the kid says, why is it worth this? And the guy says to him, well, it's because someone is willing to pay for it. So why is cryptocurrency worth what it is? It's because someone's willing to pay for it. The underlying market still is fundamentally ransomware, hackers, and people like that. If there was no cryptocurrency, the state of security would be much better in the world today. Hmm. So as a security guy, I have a fundamental issue with it just from that perspective. So, and I want to talk a little bit more about that, but what about with your investor hat? I mean, I would imagine people are knocking on your door all the time and saying, hey, I've got this cryptocurrency related investment ideas. I mean, we can track Bitcoin, but there's all, all this surrounding stuff if, that's if, out there. So, I mean, what do you think about it for people I who think are just learning about it? The way I looked at CryptoCoin, I look at blockchain. Blockchain is here to stay as an underlying technology. It's going to disrupt real estate, contracts, all kinds of technologies. So as an investor, I like the fundamental basis of it. I love this company that's converting cryptocurrency into debit. I like the transition from the electronic world to the physical world. So I think as an investor, I try to put the speculation aside and look at the underlying infrastructure of it. Companies that invest in the infrastructure of converting cryptocurrency to a physical form, transaction, fintech, that kind of stuff, I'm very bullish on. You've got to put the speculative nature aside. You, um, you, you use that B word, the bubble word, but I mean, are, do you own any Bitcoin yourself, just out of curiosity? I, I, you know, it's funny, um, Shark Tank, Mark Cuban and I had this argument a year ago. He says, I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. I said, you can't buy Bitcoin. Um, I don't, and, but I only don't from a philosophical nature for, okay. as a security guy. Um, it's a great speculative stock, but like any highly speculative stock, there's an end coming. As an investor, though, I am going to invest in the underlying infrastructure, and I love companies that are going to convert cryptocurrency into something physical and tangible. So, you know, w one thing, maybe you can shed some light on this. This is the Wall Street Journal this week. Traders beware a reckoning awaits. A lot of people have gotten hyped up over the last couple of weeks because now there are going to be these futures that trade publicly surrounding right. Bitcoin. We're going to see it with, with the CME. A lot of people have pointed out that actually opens the door to potentially short Bitcoin right. um, at a time when it'll probably for a lot of people be the first opportunity to actually dabble in something like this. Um, Showing once again, you can buy futures in anything, right? Yeah. And you can trade anything. 
I mean, if you think about that, you're taking a speculative market and making it even more speculative by trading futures on it. It's going to be an interesting time, and I think a lot of people are going to short it, and we're going to see what happens with the price. Cryptons are, cryptocurrency is going to continue to go up because the average consumer is only now starting to get into it, and the hype machine is just going to get bigger and bigger. And, and just to clarify, I mean, comparing Bitcoin to, say, tech stocks to you is a completely different game. Like, you'd be long on a the, lot of those big technology yeah, companies. Yeah, the Bitcoin market is not the technology market. The Bitcoin market is a speculative market, not a core technology market. All right. We want to talk a lot more about the world of cybersecurity. Obviously, your company benefiting tremendously from all the uncertainty out there. So much to dive into. We'll do that after this break. Robert, thanks for being Thank here. Robert Herjavec joining us. We'll be right back right here on Business Day.